we will be looking at three different slides of stratified squamous epithelial tissue. There are two types of stratified squamous epithelial. Some is found non-keratinized in places that are very moist, like the esophagus, the mouth, or the vagina. Then we have keratinized versions, which are dry, and we find them on the external part of the body, like the skin or a dry membrane. Stratified squamous epithelial tissue functions to protect underlying tissues. It provides a barrier to entry inside of the body, whether it be on the outside, such as the skin, or the inside lining of the mouth, or the esophagus area subject to a lot of abrasion. We will look at the first slide, starting with the 4X objective, and we can see a lot of tissue in here. The tissue, the stratified squamous epithelial, is this strip right along the top here, the darker pink. Underneath is dense irregular connective tissue. We see some adipose tissue under here. We can even see some little arterioles scattered amongst this dense irregular connective tissue and we're going to focus in a little closer here right in this area that is our stratified squamous epithelial tissue. Here is that same slide using the 10x objective and the thick layer of stratified squamous is a little thicker here. We can see this line between the dense irregular and the stratified squamous that is going to be the basement membrane and on top of that will be that first line. Those will be the basal or germ cells that produce layers of squamous epithelial that pushes upwards. Here we can also see embedded in the dense irregular connective tissue, there's a little arteriole. Here is the same slide using the 40X objective. And on this slide, it's very hard to tell the different layers. We can see the basement membrane and we can see the basal layer. The following layers, spinosum, granulosum, and corneum are not as clear in this slide, but we can see it better in some other slides. Now here is our second slide of stratified squamous epithelium, and again we'll see this dark strip of tissue. That's what we want to look for. All of this other tissue, we're not concerned with that at this point. We can see dense irregular but we want this little section, this little strip of cells are what we want to look at. Here is that slide using the 10X objective. We focused in a little closer and we can see the basement membrane and the basal cell layer here and we can see multiple layers of stratified squamous epithelial. Again, this is the strip we're looking at. This is the stratified squamous. We'll ignore all this other tissue and let's focus in a little higher. Now here we focused in a little higher using the 40X objective. We can see the basement membrane. And we can see this basal layer. You've got some spinosum and granulosum cells in here. Those are a little difficult to see here. We can see some stratum corneum and these are basically just sacs filled with keratin. They generally don't have a nucleus by the time they're fully cornified and these are the external part of the skin. This is our last slide of stratified squamous epithelial tissue and I chose this slide because it has a lot of cornified skin up here, probably even some dead flaking skin and we can see where we're gonna look is this little band of tissue right here. Now all of this is also stratified squamous, but this is really the live tissue and we want to look there. This is what we're looking at. Here is that same slide using the 10X objective. We can see the non-nucleated cornified layer up here. We can see the basement membrane wrapping around and in this slide the dermal papillae of dense irregular connective tissue jutting up into the stratified squamous is very apparent. Here is the stratified squamous. There would be my basal layers. And this is probably a Meissner's corpuscle. Again, we're looking at this layer. This is the active reproducing stratified squamous epithelial. All of this is cornified, fully filled keratin sacs. And here we're looking at this slide using the 40X objective and we'll try to look at some of the different layers. Obviously start at the basement membrane. The first layer is going to be the basal cells or the germinal layer. And above that will be the stratum spinosum. The stratum spinosum there would be one. They have little prickle cells which are keratinocytes that have little spines and these are laying down keratin and filling up the sac. That's usually just several cell layers thick. Then you'll move up to a granulosum cell. We'll still see nuclei but we are filling the cells up with keratin 
and then by the time they get up into this region they're full corneum or keratin filled sacs.